Hello everyone, welcome to Graphic Hunters. In today's video, I'm going to show you an exciting shield logo design tutorial. Do you know what is different between the two logo? I think, you don't find any difference between the two logo. Because most of the designer, even I also did the shield logo design in a wrong process. Now I think you find the problems, the problem is shape properties, the left shield logo's properties is not equal to all side because of making in wrong way. And the right one is perfect, and equal to all side. And that's the difference between the two logo, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the proper and accurate way to designing shield logo. So, make sure to watch carefully to the end, and then write in the comments section the most valuable information that you find in the tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So let's start the video. Now we first make shield for our logo, most of the people don't know, how to make shield, if you don't know. Go Google and search shield. After that you will find lots of shield. And select the best one in which you want to design your logo. But in this video, I will make shield for this logo. For making shield, go back to illustrator. First take ellipse tool. And draw a circle. Turn on stroke color. And turn off fill color. Now select the circle, and by hold alter, copy it and keep it aside equally like that. Now take line segment tool. And draw a line equal to circle edge. Place the line to another side by hold alter. You can keep one line in the middle of the shield, and it will help us later. Now again take ellipse tool, and draw circle within the lines like that. Now place it top of the shield like that. If you think, you don't make new circle, you can use the these current two circle for the top button. Now select the circle, and by hold alter, place it to the right side. Now select top two circles, and make it vertical align top and make it group. Again select the bottom two circle and make it top align and group it. Also select the three lines and make top align and make it group. Now select everything and make it middle align center. As you can see, we have already made our shield if I take brush tool, and draw over the circle, you can understand this. And you can make shield taller and smaller by up and down the top circle like that. I think, that's perfect for my design. Now select everything. And take shape builder tool. Turn on the fill color, and make your shield like that. Now move it above from the circles. As we can see, there are two circle attached to the shield, so we have to ungroup first, then you can move it. As you can see, we easily move the shield. Now delete everything without the shield. Turn off the fill color. This is how you can easily make shield, and if you want to keep any shape to your shield, you can make by following the steps. Now we will draw our logo letter on the shield. Today's logo letter is UCG. So I write these letter for your better understand. K. 
Carefully listen, this is the important part of the video. When we want to make shield logo, and we normally copy the shield by press Ctrl C and Ctrl F. Then make it smaller or bigger the shield. After making this, we will draw our logo letter on the shield. But this process is not the actual process, and it's make your logo wrong measurement. Ask me why I'm saying that, even I did the same process for making shield logo. What's the wrong here? The wrong is here is the accurate measurement. As you can see the bottom gap, and the side of shield gap is not equal. That's why this is not perfect way to design your logo on shield. So what is the right way to designing logo on shield? Don't worry, I'm going to disclose the everything in the video. First hold alter, select the shield and keep it aside for comparison. Now select the shield, and go object, and select path. Select offset path. Take second shield as you need. I take 15px for example. As you can see, now the gap for the second shield is equal to all side. And this is the right way to designing logo on shield. But there is also have problems when you working with specific lines. Suppose, for making the logo, I need total 12 line. And it must place between the shield. As you can see, when I have taken 12 lines, the lines goes out of the shield. For better understanding, select the lines, and make it vertical align top. And make group. Take this lines for the wrong shield. In the wrong shield, you can easily place these lines, even more lines perfectly just like the way. Now select the shield, and copy it. And make it one line smaller. For the second shield, when you trying to adjust the lines with shield, we cannot make it. When we go outline mode, we can see the difference. I think, you guys thinking that, if I select the smaller shield, and can match with lines, the problem easily solved. Isn't it? No, your thinking is not right here. When you make copy of your shield by offset path, don't move the shield when you got it after offset path. As you can see, when you making bigger the smaller shield, this is not matched to the big one. That's why I said you, don't move the shield if you make it through offset path. Then ask me what is the right way? Watch carefully what I'm doing. First take rectangular tool. And ensure what is the gap between the two lines. As you can see, the width is 14.65. Keep it note as 14.65. If you don't find measurement, select the rectangle, and go transform. Here you can see rectangle properties. If you take again rectangle tool, and draw a rectangle within two circle it show the same as 14.65 px. Now select the shield, and go object, select path. Select Offset Path. And right here 14.65px. As you can see, your shield perfectly placed to the lines. If you go Outline Mode, you can be 100% sure, is it perfect or not. Okay, that's good. This is how you can easily place shield to your lines perfectly. Now we will design our logo on the shield. Most of the people says that, while we go throughout the complex process, we can easily do it by making smaller easily. But need to note this, by this process that you have think, all side of the shield is not be equal, and when your logo will be used in big banner or billboard, 
it can detect easily by audience your fault. So I select two shield by hold shift and make it group. Now select everything and make it middle align center. Now select the lines and copy it by press Ctrl C and Ctrl F and rotate this 90 degree. Now select everything and take shape builder tool swap stroke color to fill color easily draw the letter UCG like this As you can see, I have drawn the letter on the lines. Now need to move these above from the lines. For this, we need to ungroup every part. Then select the letters by hold shift. And move it above from the lines. As you can see, we have made mistake, and that's why I always remind you. While drawing your logo on grid, be careful and perfectly fill each and every gap. Anyway, we can easily solve it by pen tool. So take pen tool, and solve this like that. Now select the design and go Pathfinder and make it united. I think if we increase the stroke color, the logo will be look good. I think 4px is perfect. Now select the design and go object and make it expand. From Pathfinder, make it united. Ok, that's good. If we add here an extra thing, the G letter can be readable. Ok, that's perfect. As you can see friends, how I easily make the logo and shield. And always follow these step which I have shown in the video while you designing logo on shield. So friends, this is our finished shield logo, I hope you loved watching this design. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more creative content. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or ideas for what you want to see next. Thanks for watching, and keep unleashing your creativity.